Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing is impossible. That's a summarized version. When a lot of people think about faith, they think about healing, they think about a financial breakthrough, they think about miracles, and rightly so. However, if there is one reason why I would say faith is so important, it's found in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it says this, Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Message in five, get a blessing in five, learn a lesson in life while you're pressing in Christ. Hebrews 11 verse 6 But without faith it is impossible to please God You cannot please God if you don't think He exists And He rewards those who diligently seek Him Not just seek Him, but diligently seek Him Sacrificially seeking Him Consciously making an effort to please Him There are some people who may say I believe there is some creator I believe there is a maker, Mother Earth, Yin Yang, Big Bang, whatever you may believe. But at the end of the day, faith is knowing that there is one God and believing that God. Some may say, but I have never seen God. So how can I know God is real? Let me say it this way. In the physical world, we look for physical evidence. Physical evidence such as sight, hearing, etc. In the spiritual world, we look for spiritual evidence. What is spiritual evidence? The Bible says again in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is your evidence. You may be saying, I'm struggling with faith. How do I get faith or increase my faith? If I look at all that's happening in this world, I will lose my faith. The pandemic, the wars, the rumors of wars, the disasters, the evil in the heart of man. Some evil like we have never seen before. But when we see all these things happening, we should not be losing faith. We should realize that prophecies are being fulfilled and this should be the time that our faith should be increased. Some people may say, but I have had so many bad experiences in life. I have seen so many people have some bad experiences. This only breaks my faith. Again, your faith is not dependent upon good experiences. Abraham, for example, was ready to sacrifice his son. That was not a good experience. However, Abraham is known as the father of faith. If your faith was dependent upon good and positive experiences, then bad experiences would have the ability to break and damage your faith. Then how do I get faith? Listen what the scripture says, Romans 10 verse 17. For faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. A person may say, so okay then, I want some faith, I want to get saved, I want that salvation. How do I go about that? What good thing must I do? What must I give? What, what, what deed must I do? How do I get that faith? Nothing really. For the sake of clarity, you are not saved by works such as kindness and good deeds. However, works should be a product of your salvation. In other words, your good deeds and kindness and works don't produce salvation, but your salvation should produce works. Works don't produce salvation, however, your salvation should produce works. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And this last scripture I want to leave with you from Romans chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. And it says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. First to the Jew, then to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. The just shall live 
by faith, purpose of faith, message in five, loud.